We're at NC Beer Guys. We drink beer produced here in North Carolina and provide our opinions to them on our web blog and also on our website, ncbeerguys.com. Remember, drink local and keep your beer dollars in North Carolina. Today we are drinking and reviewing the uh, Aviator Brewing Winter Seasonal. Aviator is uh, down in Fuquay, Verena. And Aviator was a winner at last year's NC State Fair beer competition. They won gold for their October Beast and for their Hot Rod Red. Yum. Devil's Tramping Ground Triple, one of my favorites. And a silver for their Hot Wild IPA. Aviator is located at 209 Technology Park Lane in Fuquay. <laughs> Just south of Raleigh. Of the Frost Nipper, the Aviator folks say, this beer will curl your toes and put goosebumps on your arm. Big build up, big build up. A fine collection of traditional fall spices make this a great addition to the holiday season. So this is going to be our last of the winter seasonals and we're done. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it will make all humbugs cheery. The beer is dark in color, a bit darker than brown ale. There is a combination of pearl and Willamette hops to provide a contrasting intensity with the fall spices. The beer contains a generous amount of smoked malt. Smoky. And comes in at 7.2 ABV. Yep. So I've not had this, so let's see. I've got a nicer. Uh, you got a bigger one than I've got a nice hand than you did. Once again, as I've said with <laughs> Aviator Label, I love their artwork. We are always impressed with Aviator's graphics. Yeah, it's they do good. good work. They, they've got a good artist going there. And they're doing real well with bottling their product now. So yep. uh, if you see an Aviator bottle out in a store, grab it. You might recognize it by their graphics. Um, but they're, they're, they're bottling and they're very available, at least in the triangle area. So once again, dark. Now very, this is dark. dark, but not as, what did it say? Dark in color. Darker than a brown a ale. A bit darker than it a brown ale. Yes. It is darker than a brown is, ale, right. They nailed that one. It is darker than a brown ale. It's got, you know, the, uh, a creamy beige colored head. Light spice in the aroma, but not a lot coming through, at least in the I'm getting some, I, I am getting spices. Yeah, yeah, you and do. It's not uh, more spice than malt. Yep. Mm. Oh, spices I, definitely come through now. Oh, I'm saying the smoke. I got the smokiness. The smokiness, wow. yes. <laughs> now, and of course, a lot of the winter seasons are not smoky. This... This is a very smoky beard. I'm surprised they hadn't said more it's funny about smoke. How you know when you drink a beer and as you bring it up to your mouth, the aroma hits you. And I'm not getting. I wasn't getting a smokiness aroma. No. Nope. But as soon as I opened my mouth and I had that first touch of the beer, the smokiness went bam and hit you. But they wow. They, they do say a generous amount of smoke malt. And they're not kidding. I think I, I didn't catch that too much in the, mm. when I was reading the description, but they're right on with that. It's it's uh Wow. No Dave's a big smoke fan too. I'm a big smoke fan. So how many wows do you know it's coming? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Alright, get past the smoke. What do you think of the rest? I mean it's got the smokiness, it's got mild spicy flavor to it. A very hard to tell and that smoke. No, I'm getting some. I get the aftertaste. I mean, the smoke hits up front, and then you get the little spicy aftertaste you know, on the, on the downside. Mm -hmm. The um, smoke lingers with you a bit. Yeah, and I like the. Um, it, it's got a good mouth feel to it. Not overly carbonated. Mm -hmm. It's got you know slight prickly to it. You know, but it's very. I mean. Does it curl your uh, toes and put goosebumps on your arm? <laughs> if it had another, if it had like another uh, three percent on it, puppy, it would. I don't know about that. Oh, wow! I'm, I'm just so surprised by this beer. I guess it's not what I expected for some reason. Well, I am, and and the smoking is. I'm not a smoke fan, and that's kind of put me off. No. I, I just didn't. I, I read it. Said it was there. Uh, exactly. And it is. Mm -hmm. And we try to give kudos to those that advertise appropriately. Yep. Yep. But personal favor is not because of the smokiness. Yeah. So, okay. So what are you thinking? I'm only going to give it a bottle. You need a bottle? For I'm, me. Oh, uh, I'm... Just, and that's very personal. Right. I'm, this thing's going for... This thing is going for a growler. I mean... 
Oh, no, this is, we don't use a different. This, much. this, I, I this really, seriously, this, this hit me really, really well. Good. And the flavor is nailed perfectly for what I expected it to be. And I, you know, this would be different in the summer, of course, because this is a winter seasonal. Right. But I, this is dead on. Good. I, I think this is, they did a fantastic job on this. And what this shows you is that style and personal preference matters. Mm -hmm. Find the beer you like. Go out and try a variety of beers. Yep. And and expand your palate. And you may not know what you like yet, but you can if figure you try it. You'll find you'll it out. You'll figure it out. Yep. And everybody's not gonna like the same thing. Dave thinks this is a growler worthy. I I would drink a bottle of it, and then I'm gonna move on to their triple, which <laughs> is my favorite. Yep. And they're very different beers. Yep. And and that's the good thing about a brewery, a craft brewery particularly, that can make a continuum of beer, something for everybody, somewhere along yep. the supply line. Yep. And uh, and they do great. You know, we love Aviator products. Yep. Uh, this is and Dave loves this one. I like it. I don't love it. Uh, remember, until next time, keep your beer dollars local. Uh, keep your beard off North Carolina and drink Damn local. Right. <laughs> Whatever. Drink local, keep your beard off North Carolina. And let the folks at Aviator know what you think of yep. this beer. Go out and find some. Till next time, we'll catch you later, buds.